Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing the Maxton spoiler lip. Um, so first things first, we're going to do a bit of prep on it. The products we're going to be using are... Triple, all in one polish. Um, so this basically is a polished glaze and wax. So this is the thing that makes it really, really shine. Kind of brings out everything that you want from it. I'm then going to top it up with a little bit of glisten. This stuff, once again, brings out crazy amounts of shine. Really, really good. And then to finish it off, we're going to use some Jay's Ceramic Wax, um, which is just you know a foam applicator that you need to put on it. I'm going to do that to both sides, and we'll see how it all turns out. So, first things first, let's peel off the wrapping. So we can start to protect it. So that's the current level of gloss. Obviously, like I said before, this stuff just rubs off. So that's the current level of gloss on that side. And that's the current level of gloss on the rear side. Okay, duck guys, so the prep has been completed. Hopefully you can kind of see it has created more of a gloss on the back. Obviously one more final little polish once it's on the car will be all good. But yeah, it's a lot more glossy on the back now compared to how it was. And then obviously on the front, minus the little bit of dust that I've currently got on there. Um, you know, you, you can just see here, to be honest, how, um, how glossy I've achieved with just, you know, three products, which is just a kind of like a cut polish. Um, a quick spray on wax and then a ceramic wax just to seal it all in and make it hydrophobic. So, on to the install. Okay guys, welcome, we're installing this today. So, we're going to do a quick test fit. Um, so it should sit on it kind of like that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But just here is what I would call quite a big gap. Okay, so it will sit exactly here. Okay, you can see that is central. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to hold it in place. I'll just show you first hand. How much of a gap the Maxton spoiler lip has that you have to try and negate. So obviously on that side it's not as bad. On this side it's awful. So yeah, but overall, I think it's going to look pretty good once it's on. So the way we're going to negate that gap. First of all, we're going to use clamps. Hopefully, I can use these. Tighten them in. Clamp onto the ends of the spoiler lip and with any luck that will kind of hold it and seal it into place. I'm going to use some microfiber cloths just to make sure that I'm not obviously um, damaging the paintwork or anything when I'm squeezing tight onto it. The second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run an extension lead outside, get a hair dryer and heat up all of the plastic until it's almost slightly bendy. Obviously you've got to be careful with using heat because you can damage the paint. Um, Obviously you can boil the tape that's currently on there. So I'm just going to really kind of just get it nice and warm and moldable. So that way I can mold it to my spoiler as I do it. So that's the plan. First thing we've got to do though is clean off the car. So the way we're going to do that is with some methylated spirit. So as you can see. Mother of God. Methylated spirits. Um, basically that just removes everything, degreases it, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so I'm only gonna use a little bit of that because obviously it is quite strong stuff. I'm just gonna basically do that edge of the splitter where the actual sticky stuff's gonna go. Secondly, I'm gonna use the little wipe that's um, with the package. So the little 3M um, cleaning degreaser thing. I'm gonna use that secondly, and then we're gonna try and do it. First thing I'm gonna do is a bit of methylated spirit. I'm just gonna work it along this edge. As you can see, it has already taken off a layer of dirt. Let's 
just going to run it super quick along just to dry it off. Obviously it will dry by itself. Cool, that's that cleaned. So now I'm just going to get like some water, run some water over it. Okay, so got a hairdryer, old crumpled up hairdryer. Gonna pop it on max heat. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just heat up the spoiler. So obviously at the minute it's like freezing cold outside, it's the middle of winter. So I'm just gonna heat up the spoiler just a little bit. Okay, so I've kind of heated up just the uh, spoiler. Um, it's, it's just so it's more like room temperature rather than freezing cold outside. The next step, what we're going to do is heat up the spoiler lip. So I'm going to use the hair, um, hair dryer and just heat up, especially these sections here, where I know I'm going to have problems. I'm going to heat those up until it's really, really quite like, like I said before, moldable and stuff. Um, and then we're going to fit it. Now, obviously, when it comes to the fitting, I'm going to be working pretty quick. So the things we're going to do, number one, we're going to line it up with, I'll focus on it, hopefully anyway, you can see there's a little clip there, we're going to line it up with that. So the logo is going to sit directly in the middle and as you can see, lines up the aerial, um, which one day I'll change. But anyway, I'm going to line it up perfectly with that and I'm going to start from the middle and work my way outwards. Once I get to these sections here, um, I'm then going to clamp it to hold it down, obviously remove the backing as I do it. see the final results in terms of how the max speed splitter or spoiler lip is what I should say um, how the max speed spoiler lip fits compared to let's say other companies um, and let's see if there are really problems with fitting but obviously you can see that I've had to heat it up in order to get this fit perfectly so anyway there you go quick come around the car so you can see what's going on so that's how it fits on the ends, so it kind of just droops down off the end. Um, underneath I've managed to get all of the gaps as you can see. All of the gaps are done, uh, the gap in there is done and then once again as you can see it kind of just droops, kind of almost droops off the end but it is, it has got like a curve to it. 
I think it is meant to do that. It's not meant to kind of droop into your spoiler. But it's completely flush with the outside. And like I said, it's the same with this side. It kind of droops off the end. So yeah, overall, so far, it looks pretty good. it's still there still going we're still drying um, with any luck you know the fitment will kind of be okay um, it does look like it's overhanging a lot on the ends here I'll just point to where I'm on about um, but as I said before like it kind of droops it droops down as if it's almost meant to fall off the spoiler itself same with this side so you can see it kind of just droops off the end um, and obviously you can't really get it up and over. But yeah. So guys, that concludes the install of the Maxon spoiler lip, which you can see here. Um, overall, the fitment's pretty good. Um, you do need a little bit of heat in order to kind of mold it correctly. Um, the edges, which I will just point out here, you can see kind of how there's a small gap here, and I don't know if you can, it'll be able to pick it up on camera. Let me see if I can focus on it. You can see where the natural spoiler kind of wants to go and where the Maxton, it's just not really around enough. Um, the thing that I found though, you can't, as much heat as you put on it, if you kind of force it more and more and more, um, these corners here end up just wanting to pop up because you're basically bending plastic. Um, same with this side. So you can see it's just kind of slightly over the edge. Um, but in terms of actual fitment along the back side of it, it is perfectly smooth. Um, so who knows really um, but yeah overall I'm happy with it it looks sick like it looks proper cool I'm really happy with it so anyway thank you guys for watching remember to like favorite subscribe Instagram once again popping up there so make sure you follow me on Instagram to get kind of live updates of this because the time this video goes out I'd have had this on for about a week um, so make sure you know, follow me on Instagram, get the latest updates. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.